Good morning, Dennis fam. Today we are taking you through our morning routine with a newborn. He first woke up at 2.30 this morning for his first official morning feed, but dad took that one, so it is 6.30 now, correct? Mm -hmm. And I am feeding him, and he has about half an ounce left. We're up to four ounces at every feeding. To be as efficient with our time as possible, one of us feeds Asher while the other one gets ready for the day. Are you ready to go get in your crib and go back to bed? You don't look like it. I just got Asher back in the crib. He is not asleep, but I'm watching him on the camera. Looks like he's honestly wide awake, but he's not mad. So I think I might be able to get a lot done this morning. I put a load of laundry in the washer last night and totally forgot about it. So fingers crossed that they don't smell and they're still good. I can't be the only person that literally always forgets to put the clothes in the dryer and has to rewash them multiple times. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some coffee because we are both absolutely dead right now. But what do you mean to make for breakfast while you're gone? Whatever you want, surprise me. I heard Asher screaming, so I was gonna go in there to just rock him to sleep. As soon as I open the door, I see, I'm like, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up, but he is asleep. Finally, so I think I'm gonna start working on breakfast because I don't want to get a shower until Christian gets back because it's 7.09 now, so I'm gonna start on breakfast. Y'all, I did not realize how cold it was outside and I wore shorts and now I'm freezing my butt off. We've now arrived at the best coffee shop in town. As you can tell, there's a very long line. Can I get two medium hot peppermint mochas? Yeah, absolutely. Go, man, have a good one. You too. I have breakfast done. I almost burnt the sausage because I was not paying attention because I was doing the dishes. But breakfast is done. I have the dishes done. Um, there is a bunch of laundry on the couch. And I do have to go swap the laundry that is in the washer and the dryer. So today's going to be a very hectic cleaning day. But Asher is still asleep. So he's been asleep for probably 45 minutes. So that's really good because he'll probably want to eat again around... 8 39 ish so i feel like we've got a lot done christian still hasn't got back with coffee so that is an essential for me to get everything else done today i still haven't showered i think we're doing great honestly the coffee has arrived not only do we have a morning routine our cats do as well and it involves a lot of the zoomies and yes our cat's favorite toys are our christmas decorations breakfast is served i put cheese on mine but christian's weird and doesn't like cheese on his sausage and biscuit yeah. it's called a sausage and biscuit for a reason not yep. a sausage cheese biscuit yeah put cheese on it make me, me it's now 9 a.m and after eating breakfast lexi is now in the shower and another part of our morning routine is the cats following Lexi around everywhere. We got one in the window and one waiting for her to get out on the mat. They love you. And as for now, Asher is still asleep, but I'm sure he will be up soon because it's almost time for his next feed. But this is the longest he's ever slept in the crib. Yes, according to Miss Shower Lady. I am out of the shower and Asher is still asleep. So I'm hoping I can finish getting ready and maybe get some but TikToks done. But not, I will take care of it. Yes. While you get ready. Because I have an amazing husband. Asher's starting to move around a little bit in the crib, so I'm gonna go ahead and make him a bottle since it's really close to his feeding time. That way when he wakes up, he doesn't have to sit there and scream at us while we're trying to make him a bottle. It makes life easier on him and us. And right on cue, little dude woke up and he is hungry. Typically after this feeding, he will be up for a little bit and then he'll probably take another little power nap. But as soon as we finish with this bottle, he's gonna have to go get in his new Christmas outfit because he's still in his nighttime jammies from last night. This is probably the most challenging part of feeding him is trying to get him to burp without him getting mad that he's not having milk right now. But it's for the better because he will spit up everywhere if he doesn't burp. <laughs> He is now taking his mid-feeding nap. Which he's been doing recently a lot and kind of cluster feeding during the day. He's definitely during the day at night, which is not a problem for us because we can sleep at night. I would much rather him cluster feed during the day and then just like sleep for five hours during the night because that yes, cause is key. During the day, he eats a little bit, falls asleep, doesn't want any more, and then wakes up and then wants more or even more than he had. And then he'll take like an hour and an hour and a half nap. Yeah, like last night he ate like three times in a row, like every hour. Every hour, hour he wanted like four ounces. And I was like, okay, but I think he got confused with his hunger and his stomach ache pain because he started like spitting it all up. I was like, I know you're not hungry. There's no way you're hungry. You just had four ounces. Now that Asher finishes feeding, it's time to get the Christmas outfit on. So this is the outfit we have picked out for today. It is a dinosaur Santa Claus outfit. And as you can tell, he is being a sweet boy today. So this is perfect for you all to see. Not every morning's like this, but I would say the majority, he's really nice. 
It's usually towards the end of the day he might get a little more grumpy. So recently he has started to like mamble stuff. When we put his bappy in, he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But when like he's hungry. Only when he's hungry. Only when he's hungry. But recently he's been starting to like just say like just the random things babies say, I guess. But I really didn't think they were supposed to start doing that until like six months. And he's almost two months. But he's, it's so adorable when he does it. But he is almost two months. That is insane. Is he? Yes. That's just a month and two weeks. Yeah. That's not. That's half. Halfway. Half, yeah. Yeah, you're you're rounding up again. <laughs> Shut I'll up. Do you round up or round down? I'm the one that says that it's seven if it's six thirty. No, it was six twenty-five yesterday, and she said it's seven. And I was like, no, it's not. It's <laughs> the only way we get out of the house on time. I have to round up, or we will be late. We're always late. Either way. Cause you don't let me round up cause you look at the clock. Asher is all dressed and ready for the day. Look how cute he is in this little dinosaur Christmas. After his nap and getting him in his new outfit, he decided he wants some more food. Probably so he can throw up on his new outfit, but <laughs> that's just what I'm guessing. It's okay, he has like 7,000 Christmas outfits anyways. So we're about to start our work for the day. We have so much we have to get done and get caught up on before our trip. So. Our lounger is the best place to put Asher so that he's technically still with us while we do work. We either put him there or we put him and in his, his swing. His little munchkin swing. He likes both. Recently though, he's been so fussy and won't let us get work done. He got mad for a minute, but it seems that he's fine now. I but I'm good. sure in like five minutes, we'll revisit this <laughs> and we'll see. It's just a constant battle, but it's worth it to have such an adorable little guy. I know. We made it about 15 minutes and he started throwing a fit, but Lexi got his bappy back in. He just keeps dropping it out of his mouth, which is pretty normal and we just have to constantly go it's put okay. it back in. Just the newborn pattern of you have like all these things that could be wrong because they cry for every single reason. And it's a learning the cry for what reason it is. We got the food cry down and the poop, we got it down. Yeah, There's his tiredness and fussy and like gas all kind of are the same. So it's like you have yeah. to go through and check them all to see what exactly it is. We got like a checklist that we write <laughs> down. It's like six step process to figure out what is wrong with them. But we figured out so it works. A few fussy fits later and Asher has finally convinced mama to pick him up. He must have heard that we were trying to get some work done and immediately started screaming which usually happens honestly every time we try to get something done he starts to scream. He just knows he'll just be my partner in crime as I try to get stuff done today. And little man is officially out of it. He is but if I put him down you know he's gonna start screaming. That is exactly correct mama. I got him to lay in his lounger. He is not asleep but he is he happy. He was asleep but as soon as we turn the camera on, he's awake again. He's like, oh, I heard a bone. 45 minutes later, and we are now eating again. Luckily, Lexi got some work done while he was sleeping, but now she's going to eat some lunch because she's starving. We just finished up Asher's last morning feeding, so this concludes today's video. We will see you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.